Welcome everyone to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host Bill Spicer. On this week's show we're highlighting Algoma country. We will cover a drive to location and a rail destination and finally a fly-in remote experience. Species this week will be smallmouth bass, large pike, and huge brook trout. It promises to be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby! Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association. Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. On today's show, the new Fly Fisher crew is back in Algoma country in Sault Ste. Marie. Sault Ste. Marie, or the Sioux as it's nicknamed, is located on the St. Mary's River in Ontario. Across the river is its twin city of Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. The two cities are connected by an international bridge which crosses over the rapids and the locks. Great Lakes shipping bypassed the rapids by using the American Sioux Locks, one of the world's busiest canals. Pleasurecraft used the locks on the Canadian side of the rapids. The city offers top-notch accommodations, restaurants, shopping, a casino, train tours through the Agua Canyon, and a picturesque boardwalk that follows the harbor front. The great thing about coming to Sault Ste. Marie is it's a drive-to destination. I very much want to do this on a budget, so I've rented a room in a very nice, reasonably priced hotel, and I've hired a guide. Hiring a guide is important at least for a day in order to learn the access points and the best pools in the rapids. The guide I've hired is Brad Hodkinson, owner of Sioux North Fly Shop located in the city. I'm sure with Brad's intimate knowledge of the rapids, I will have a successful trip. Nice little male. Yeah. Really colored, eh? Now this is exactly where Brad told me the fish was. Holding at the top of the pool. And I placed the, the fly high enough up that uh, it got down in time. It's not very big. Oh, nice four pounder. Yep. You got her there, buddy? There we go. There we go. Let me get my my tailing glove out here. Pop it out there. Yep. That's gonna go. Now, it's a good start. I've been here five minutes. It's a good start. Yeah. Nice little. Nice pilot. colored up. This is your spawning colors. You see how deep that red is. And that's, that's a small one for here. Yeah, oh, very small. That's very small. Nice little guy, though. <laughs> well, sir. Thank you. It didn't take long for the smell of skunk to get off this. It did. <laughs> oh, that, that's pretty good. No, I like that. No. Perfect. Now, to the audience, steelhead is my absolute favorite fish, and I think it is for you and oh, yeah, a bunch of other guys. There's just nothing like it. And, and we have such a plentiful supply in this area. This is, this is a good fishery, isn't it? This is all natural, too. It's yeah. no stocking. Um, you know, a lot of catch and release here. Yes, you know, well, that, that's good, that's yeah, good. It's, uh, 
which is nice. Yeah. You know, I don't begrudge anybody taking a fish. Either do I, and, that, and that's a good thing to make a point. I'm not complete catch and release. There's nothing wrong with one or two fish. No, selective harvest yeah, is... Yeah, selective harvest, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We got enough fish around here, but oh. you can see I've been here five minutes. Not a lot of fishermen right now. Now, there are times. We'll oh, explain yeah. that there are times there is lots of fish, yep, uh, lots, lots of people. Lots and lots of people, yes. you know, at yeah. times. Uh, but we hit a nice day today. Yeah. You know, it's, Overcast, it's cool. It's definitely it, cool. Northern Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will retie because I've caught a fish, so I'm going to retie my knots. Always do that. Uh, you, may, you may think it's okay, but for sure the next fish is going to be big and you'll lose it. The next destination is Lodge 88, and it can be reached by rail. Guests traveling to Lodge 88 can depart from downtown Sault Ste. Marie via Canadian National and the Algoma Central Railway. The Algoma Central Railway line winds its way through the heart of 22,000 square miles of recreational wilderness starting in Sault Ste. Marie and finishing in Hearst. This is an inexpensive alternative to flying into a remote lodge. Also. There is no restrictions on how much luggage and equipment you may bring. We joined Colin McEwen at Lodge 88, located on Esnagi Lake, adjacent to the Chaplow Game Preserve in Northern Ontario. The lodge is within one day's drive of most Midwest US or Central Canadian cities and is accessible only by float plane or train. I think you want to come to Lodge 88 because of the fishing, outstanding fishing for a variety of species, northern pike, walleye, perch, whitefish. Uh, we have a really uh, good lake for brook trout. Uh, we also offer day flyouts for lake trout. Our accommodations are all relatively new. We've rebuilt all our cabins. Uh, we'll try and take care of every need so you can relax and have a good time. And of course the food is uh, excellent as well. On my second day, we decided to fly fish for brook trout on one of the local smaller lakes. Many of these small lakes have healthy populations of brook trout and lake trout. Truly a fly fisher's dream. So it's the second day here and Bob has said we should go brook trout fishing because it's a little bit overcast, there's going to be a little bit of sun, there's an isolated chance of showers and he said this is perfect weather for brook trout fishing. So he's taking me to one of the lakes in the area and we can get some big brook trout, what, four or five pounders? and the chance of maybe getting some lake trout. So I'm pretty excited about this. We're gonna get our gear ready, get up the trail, and get fishing on this other lake. Fish. There we go. See? How's that? Can you believe that first cast, Bob? I know what I'm talking about. So what I did is I went to a full sinking line. Let me get this guy in the, feels like a decent fish. I went to a full sinking line um, and a long leader. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a very big fish. Um, and uh, I went to an unweighted woolly bugger, a black one with just a hint of, with just a hint of uh, oh, green in it. He's coming towards me. There he goes. I'm trying to get him on the reel here. There he is. Yeah, it's a nice fish. That's a nice brook trout. Anywhere you go in the world. Beautiful oh, colors. That is just so beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can get them up. Look well, at that. that. Look at the nice shoulders on them. Yeah, look. Look at the size of this one. And this is mid May, so he yeah. hasn't even hit the spawning colors yet. Nope. Okay, here he comes. Oh, there's a nice fish. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, so hold them like this. Look how thick that fish is. I mean, it's just humongous. Look at that. Look at that brook trout. Is that not gorgeous? 
Absolutely. Look at the thickness of them. Beautiful specimen. Okay. Let me get them in the water right away. Look, they're already going away. Well, we just had a great morning, early afternoon on the lake. The winds are coming up. There's a couple fronts that are going through, which is okay. The fishing soles seem to be good. But what I'd really like to do is come back here with Bob one evening and do some dry fly fishing. So we're hopefully going to get a chance to do that. Right now, you know, what we're going to do is break down our stuff, go back to Lodge 88, have a nice break, get something to eat, relax, have a cup of coffee, and then go out and get some more big pike. Stay with us. Looking for world-class fishing at reasonable prices? Want the best of bass, brook trout, pike, and walleye fishing that is easily accessible? Then come to the Algoma region in Northern Ontario. Easy to access by road, plane, or even train, Algoma features some of the best fishing in the world. To learn more, go to algomaregion.com or call toll-free 1-800-263-2546. So beautiful. It's one of the reasons why I love coming up here to Northern Ontario. Every day we've seen some sort of nature, whether it's bald eagles, it's a moose, or like we saw the other day, a black bear. This is fantastic. So we're just carefully working over the weed bed, and that's where the pike are right now. Huh. Uh. Holy mackerel! Is that a big fish? Did you see him, John? Oh, I see him. He crushed it, eh? He did. He hoovered it. It's about I time. I saw something. It's about time, my friend. You've worked hard for that. I'll give you. Pers okay, so what we've got. Oh, it's strong fish. <laughs> we what we've got is really high winds, and that's what's been causing us a lot of grief because we know the fish are here. We keep seeing them, but. Just getting keep, them. <laughs> keep pulling us off top of the weed bed. So I've been using a full sinking line. Oh, look at them. That's a nice fish. A nice fish. Nice thick one. He crushed that, eh, Carl? Oh, he just hammered it. Just he hammered it. We're going to use the net on Look. this one because with these wind conditions. Oh. I'll try and get him up. Look at him. Oh, he's not ready yet. Oh. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a nice fish. Oh, look at the head on that fish, yeah. eh? There. That's he's going to go again, so we just try to keep yeah. his. I'm going to keep. Yeah, because I don't want to get him too green. Head first. Oh, oh. there we go, my friend. Right on. Wow, look at that, Northern. Look at that. Now this is why I've come here. Now you see the red in his sides? That's from the spawning. This fish spawned not that long ago. Look at the size of 38 inches. That is a killing machine. Holy <laughs> mackerel. And he took it, what, a rod length away? Yeah. OK, I'm going to put him in the water here, gently. Oh. Let's wait till he's revived a bit. And he's ready. He's already starting to kick. There he goes. Thank you, John. That was hard work. We, we have to work hard for that. That was fish. so hard. <laughs> this wind's just been killing us. But it finally paid off, and we kept drifting over top of the weeds and over top of the weeds. And the camera's not showing how much I was cursing, but we got that fish. And the thing is, how many others did we hook that we lost before the camera rolled? Like three? Oh, three, and seen numerous other ones. That's just hard conditions. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's Please. try. Oh, right. Right. Our next destination is a fly-in remote location. We are traveling to Esnagami Lodge, located on 14-mile-long Esnagami Lake in beautiful northern Ontario. Renowned for its numerous islands, rivers, and bays, it provides ideal structure for walleye and pike. A short float plane trip north from the town of Nakina brought us to Esnagami Lodge, also known as the Land of the Giants. Our host for this trip is Eric Lund, owner of Esnagami Lodge. Eric has promised us a fish-filled time of our lives in this unspoiled wilderness.
Uh, well, Asnagami Lodge has been around actually since the uh, early 60s. It was started as a, you know, very rustic uh, men's camp, uh, you know, of outhouses and, and that kind of thing. And over the years, it, uh, it has evolved. Uh, we took over here, uh, the Lund family, uh, 24 years ago now. And uh, it is now uh, modernized as far as uh, inside facilities. Uh, and also, we have a full kitchen, uh, great home-cooked meals here. Uh, definitely, you got to leave your diets at home when you come and see us. Uh, comfortable accommodations, uh, bedding, blankets, linens, towels are supplied, cabins are cleaned every day. And we've really got uh, something that's very important is, is our, our, our staff here, both the guides and the, and the gals that help with the uh, cabins and the waitressing. Um, we're, uh, you know, we really want to see everybody enjoy their trip and it's a, uh, you know, we have a very courteous atmosphere and hopefully keep it light and a lot of fun for all our guests. Looking for a great new fishing destination this coming season? Then come to the Algoma region in Northern Ontario. Easy to access by road, plane, or even train, Algoma features some of the best fishing in the world. Fish for huge northern pike, fat walleyes, and even monstrous brook trout. Come to Algoma for peaceful solitude and a true wilderness experience that is both accessible and affordable. To learn more, go to algomaregion.com or call toll-free 1-800-263-2546. Well, that's pretty much what I got on is yeah 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 exactly smaller yeah, version yeah a little yeah you got a bigger version a little, little bit more because uh, uh, you know quite often you'll fish through a, an area a weed bed and mm -hmm. smaller flies or clouds are in that and then and then you just throw on something big and crazy and it's just big fish just that's what they're looking for. Whoa! Right at, right at the side of the Holy boat. Look geez, at that. That thing woke me up. <laughs> you called it right there, Eric. Wow. You changed over, went to something bigger, and it worked. And something just something different. They're, these fish are in a strange mood yeah, today. Now, this yeah. isn't a huge fish, but it, it made all the difference in the world, yeah. though, by switching to a larger fly. Yeah, I made an example. And it's, it's almost like a reaction. Right. A reaction, a twitch, and it's just something yeah. different. Whoa, and that one's even tail dancing yeah, for you. Yeah, wow. Nice. <laughs> I was just about to talk about finishing off the, the, the cast. Yeah. Um, I wasn't even paying. I was looking for where I was going to throw my next cast. Yeah, and, and again, and, uh, finishing off the, yeah. uh, the retrieve, he took it right at the side of the boat yeah, here. Yeah, he did, yeah. Let's get you in here. Not a bad average size fish. Oh, well, you know, it's fun. It's it's not, yeah. uh, I mean, we're looking for some. We're looking for his big brother. Always but, looking for bigger. Yeah. But uh, that's not bad. We'll take it. Yeah. The ones they are taking, they are actually, they're not being shy about. No, no, they're actually, they're, they're, we call it hoovering it down because they're <laughs> sucking it right down. Yeah. There we go. Uh. Rinse them off a little bit. Well, you know. 24 inches? Yeah, 24 inches. Five, four or five pounds probably. Yeah. I'll take them, sure. Yes, Always. not a bad average fish. That seems to be what the average is. I think he was ready that, to go. Aggressive though, huh? <laughs> Aggressive. Well, when they, you know, as, as, as much as we've had quite a few follows today, uh, you know, they're hitting and then we drop it down in that. That one jumped on it. Oh man, he showed himself once. Yeah. And I just I just kept it one spot and jerked it a couple of times yeah. up and down. Yeah, yeah. And that's when he hit it. Oh my. Yeah. Well that's the one thing about we were kind of backward trolling a little bit. So yeah. you know you're able to keep it out there. Yeah. Look at the bend on the pole. Oh my. Jeez. That's an absolute <laughs> monster, that one. <laughs> oh, he must have been out 50, 60 yards at least. Oh man. What a run. What a run, yeah. Woo! Oh. Well, I hope we get a close look at this one. Oh yeah. I'm I glad so. he's on your line and not mine. <laughs> That's the luck I've had today. Man, oh man, what a hit. Look at the tail on that. That looks, that's a nice looking fish. Oh, look at how white it is. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Coming in now. Oh yeah. Okay, buddy. Go right underneath there. Oh, Excellent. There we go. Excellent. What a battle. <laughs> oh, I got soaked on that one. Oh, man. <laughs>
my arm is is going thump thump thump. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's that's, a, that's what pike fishing's all about. My goodness. Look at, look at how thick that fish is. The shoulders oh, on that one. Gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. Okay, I'm gonna set her right down here. Yep. Okay. I'm They're gonna, barbless, so they should come out real easy. I'm gonna keep my hands away from yeah. them nonetheless. Yeah, I learned my lesson there in Labrador a little while ago. Yeah. Keep your hands away from the hooks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. There she is. Look at that. Wow. That's, that's a pike. <laughs> that is a pike. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. This, this is what pike fishing is all about. You got to come to Esnagami. <laughs> All big pike, I'm telling you, just humongous pike around here. Wolves of the of the water, that's for sure. Whoops! And away he went. <laughs> that was a professional release, wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> no, I, I have seen one of the or two of those before. <laughs> he kicked right at the last minute there, and away he went. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable! Yeah. I'm having such a good time. Such a good time when you got visual fish like that. Exciting. Ho oh, oh. ho. Pristine wilderness and breathtaking scenery along the rugged shores of Lake Superior. This is Algoma country. This huge wilderness area has numerous operators offering various products such as excursions to remote fly-in fishing and hunting lodges to ice fishing and snowmobiling. The Algoma country is a year-long nature lover's paradise. I hope you have enjoyed today's show and visit us on the net at thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, Thanks for joining us, Tight Lines, and we'll see you next time. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions.